Okay, quick Friday morning radar update. So, usually a little bit of a sloth like sort of uh, market on a Friday. Uh, a little bit of open interest on the DAX on the small caps. Gaps filled on the small caps. DAX is uh, kind of on that sort of gap filled program at the moment. Let the uh, you know let the opening range sort of settle. Let the gap trade play out. As we said, the same thing yesterday. In fact, you know, work of art yesterday. Gap trade plays out, and then the market finds its direction. Gap, you know, this open interest on the small caps down to the pivot. Then we find direction. So that's that's where where we are now, uh, drifting into. Uh, the zombie session towards the US Open. Let's have a quick look in the uh, volume leaders. The metals are a bit mixed today. Everything's a bit mixed this morning. It is 10.30. We should have traded 29% to be on average volume. So really quiet. Just buzz through these. Uh, Large cap screens. I have the AIM 100 in here as well, so let's see what's in here. Getting Carter, fantastic move on that one. It's a recovery play as well, so you know, return to profit, return to uh, growth. Boku, ticking up from the swing point. Working on a swing point, sorry. Cape, re rating, fantastic. Uh, Biffa, had it on the swing screens on Monday, was it? Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. A little bit, uh, it's actually got negative forward numbers, it's, it's not for me, but uh, we can see the market doesn't care. And was it 27% pretty quiet on the uh, small caps as well let me just order these by sector so what is in these today a uh, PMP I have a position this is a return to growth it's a slightly lower high in the numbers as well um, I like the setup, really good reward to risk sort of bracket on that. I've already added to it. I like this sort of setup better than its ranking in the GTRS in, in the in the return to grow stocks. But um, you know, pumping my own book, just throw it out there. Win, lose or draw, it doesn't matter to me. Um, <clears throat> commodity related, AAZ chopping around sideways still in the big picture <coughs> excuse me CAPD through the highs there I had no forward numbers on this one or this one ah GATC so This, this is worth its own video, really, this. Um, it's, it's quite popular, this one, on the social media this morning. So let's just run you through a good stop pump. <laughs> this, this is the bit to read here. Underline continuing profit before tax for the year to the 31st of July 21 will be significantly ahead of market expectations. Now, I will tell you now, market expectations are 0 0.6 million or around that area. Significantly ahead. So I've already seen a lot, a lot of action on this saying that the recovery is speeding up and you know to you know 
that kind of thing. Oh, what what I want to hear in in a report, you know, all the all the you know the the pump pump groups are, are onto it. Let's just take these numbers apart. So minus one year ago, not the last poster, the the one previous was three point four million or about. Last posted was 1.4 million. So, you know, negative, falling. What is a recovery? A recovery is, is rising, isn't it? So the forward on this is from 1.4 million down to 0 0.6 million. And they're significantly going to beat that, apparently, the market expectations. So here's the the crux of the uh, problem. They could beat the expectations by 100% and the numbers wouldn't be recovering. They would still be falling. So, you know, ahead of the numbers is not recovering. We have absolutely no clue what significantly ahead is, but You know, if they said ahead of the last posted numbers, then it would be recovering. So would they have said that if they were going to beat those prior numbers? No, I, I expect the numbers are still going to be negative. They could, they could beat it by 50% and it would be significant and it would be 0 0.9 million against 1.4 million posted the prior year. So what am I trying to get across here? Don't drink the snake oil. Um, look at the price action in, in this stock. If you're, this is for you guys, you know, I like growth stocks. I'm into growth trends. You know, recovering could be minus 1 million to minus 0.5 million that is recovering this is actually positive it's 0.6 um, but it's not recovering until it beats that prior number you know of 1.4 so what about the the prior number to that 3.4 it, it would have to be plus 450 percent for 500 percent to beat that number you know don't drink the snake oil um, I've, I've already, the open interest is created by people putting orders in the market and the uncrossing trade fills all the open interest and the open interest is created by people trading on the back of popular pump groups and just reading the RNS and thinking that there's something positive there so you know if that number is going to trend from 0 0.6 to, to whatever it does post what's better than that 0 0.6 number because we know it's going to be up on what the expectations for this year were if it's going to trend higher over time yes it will start to recover you know the stock will will follow the growth the growth trend so it's going in the right direction but recovering nobody knows do not drink the snake oil I've already seen social media lights up with this stuff every day. And and then they go, I'm not sure why the price is down. It's because everyone drank the snake oil, thought that this is something what should just, you know, blow, blow the roof out. Now it could reverse and, and close on its highs today because it is going in the right direction. But what I'm just saying is there's a very big difference between, you know, beating a number and still being negative you know still not making as much as it having no growth you know still having you know basically than you know actually making more money than it did prior that year so you know if you're looking at things year on year you've got to beat the year on year numbers you've not got to beat the the, the mid-year forecast <laughs> it's uh, you know so do, do not drink the snake oil it's three numbers you have to look at you could do this in in primary school you know 
this this is so simple you should be able to do this before you even make it to the secondary school so if you're learning this game do not listen to these people who are pumping their own book just look at the numbers and say well what what is recovery i'll leave it there soapbox day friday it's usually wednesday I see on a daily basis the same pump groups pumping these stocks. So you've really got to just be honest with what you're trading towards. IGP. There's another 0 0.6, and this one last posted 0 0.6, expected 0 0.9. That is beating the prior number, <laughs> you know, on a year on year basis. So, not just the expected forward. I don't know what the guidance is on this, but um, accelerating on the turnover, but very slim. It's a little bit rare view and it's a little bit low growth as well. And TRCS, we saw this one last night, but you know, we. It's kind of this was our zone of interest and it's uh, doing well isn't it so that's today's volume leaders we'll see what the US open brings uh, I will run these again later and see if the uh, liven up okay